In the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you three recommendations from St. John Paul II on how you can improve your fundraising in today's environment. Hi, I'm Bree Sokolowski, the founder of CatholicFundraiser.net, a website that's completely dedicated to helping Catholics just like you with their fundraising. So whether you're starting out or you're a pro or you're somewhere in the middle, I think you're going to get a lot out of this video and podcast. Now before we dive into what John Paul II said and his recommendations from how to fundraise in the current times, I just want to make sure that you download, get, uh, read the Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. These are ten things that I really recommend that you do because they've helped me tremendously. They've helped thousands of other Catholics with their fundraising. So download absolutely for free the Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. Okay, let's dive into John Paul II. So he wrote an apostolic letter called the Rapid Development, um, that's the short name, but it's actually the Rapid Development of Technology, and I believe he wrote this uh, in 2005. And in this document, he lays out, you know, this is what, over 15 years ago, he lays out his recommendations on what Catholics should be doing with technology. And this is very prevalent in the current times that we're living in. So not just for your apostolate, but also how you fundraise. So I think you're going to get huge benefits out of these three recommendations from a very, very holy man, a saintly man, on what you can do today to improve your fundraising, improve your Catholic apostolate. So the first thing that he recommends in this document is step one is you've got to learn how to use media. You have to use the internet. Um, We see that especially right now where a lot of what we're doing requires the use of internet. So if you're a little bit behind, um, take this opportunity to learn how to use the internet. And he recommends, and, and I'm quoting, an even greater need of education in the responsible and critical use of the media. So don't worry that you don't know how to use it or that you don't know how to use it well. Take the time to learn how to do it. One of the best ways that you can learn is go over to my website, catholicfundraiser.net. Number one, get the free guide. And then two, just follow me along on how to use, I use the internet a whole lot with my fundraising because it's a great way of connecting with people. And uh, I think that's gonna be a great first step to help you learn how to use the internet. Um, Step number two is John Paul II says we must, I'm paraphrasing, but I'll get into a quote, take responsibility for what's out there. And he says, if the communications means are a good destined, are, are a good destined for all humanity, then ever new means must be found. And then he goes on to say, to make possible a true participation in management by all, the culture of co-responsibility must be nurtured. What I get out of this is that we as Catholics are responsible for what's out there. And you see this particularly for live stream masses, live stream prayer retreats, video retreats, communicating with people via the email, even using the phone, is that um, we take responsibility for what's out there. And so in the times of that we can't connect with one another, and the only way of connecting is using technology, well, if Catholics can't find what they're looking for, um, that's, that's our responsibility. And how does this connect with fundraising? Well, fundraising simply means people are donating to you because they believe in what you're doing. And if they see that you are still running full steam ahead when times are difficult and the only way to connect with people is online, well, that's gonna help your fundraising. And if you can connect with people online, you're gonna be able to connect with a whole lot more people and therefore you're gonna be able to ask for more donations because, well, you've got more people looking at you. So step two, take responsibility for what's out there and that's by learning how to use it and then two, saying, you know what? I'm not gonna complain that there's not a lot out there. I'm gonna help and make sure that what I think needs to be out there is out there. That's point number two. Point number three from St. John Paul II is dialogue. He recommends that we need to move the conversation, and I'm quoting him, move the conversation from the internet. Um, No, wait, it's here. Um, Therefore, we cannot forget 
uh, the great possibilities of mass media in promoting dialogue, becoming vehicles for reciprocal knowledge of solidarity and of peace. They become a powerful resource for good if used to foster understanding between peoples. So I paraphrase this, say you've got to move the conversation from just it being to the internet to one on one. And you can easily do this with live stream. There's usually live stream chat. So make sure you're using the chat. Um, you're inviting people to maybe email you, even call you. But there are so many wonderful ways to move the dialogue, as St. John Paul II references it, from the internet to a more one-on-one uh, -on -one fostering relationships. And this is really helpful in fundraising because, well, a lot of people think that fundraising over the internet is just having a donation page, a donate, donate button. That's not how you do it. The way that you fundraise online is that you're able to, with your apostolate, move it from the internet and move that conversation into a more intimate relationship with people. That means more one-on-one, -on -one, if you can in person, over the phone, via email, etc. So these are three recommendations uh, from John Paul's apostolic uh, letter, The Rapid Development. I hope that you found them helpful. Um, please share this with a friend. Please share this with a Catholic apostolate that, uh, that you think could benefit from this. God love you, and I look forward to speaking with you next week. Bye-bye.